captured, the man wanted for the murder of his wife and daughter arrives at a West Miami Day jail overnight. This morning, Noel Chambers is behind bars days after allegedly going on the deadly attack with a machete. Police got the major break in the case thanks to some observant firefighters. CBS 4's Riel Creighton is live at the Northwest Miami Dade Fire Station where Chambers was spotted. Riel. Good morning, Lauren and Mary Bell. Police say it was that simple. They spotted firefighters, spotted Chambers right outside of this fire station. They called the cops. They came and they arrested him without incident. The family this morning breathing a sigh of relief. They talked about the sheer celebration and joy after they got that call from police that they had him. Word got out early that there had been an arrest. Finally confirmed hours later, Miami Gardens police take down 57-year-old Noel Chambers. This is Chambers as he was being led into jail late last night. Our teamwork paid off. We apprehended the heinous criminal Noel Chambers. Police had been looking for Chambers since Saturday night when Miami Gardens detectives alleged that Chambers killed his young daughter, Shayla Chambers, and his wife, Larice Harris, and then attempted to kill his adult daughter, Shanna Lee Chambers, at their apartment. Just before 6 p.m. tonight, Miami Dade firefighters at Station 38, located at 575 Northwest 199th Street, observed the subject, Noel Chambers in front of their station. The firefighters recognized the subject from the extensive media coverage and law enforcement presence. The firefighters contacted the Miami Gardens Police Department, at which time our officers responded to the fire station, located the subject, and took him into custody without incident. Reports are that Chambers was upset because his wife wanted to leave him. He faces two counts of first-degree murder and one count of attempted murder. He don't belong on the street. He don't belong to live. He just, he just so happy that he's got caught. Like, it's, it's no amount of words that, you know, we could express to you guys. Finally, relief and the road to closure for Chambers' wife's family. Our chief of police wanted him off the streets, and we got him. So mm -hmm. I, I could tell Good that that's work. the right man, yes. Good work. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. To my yeah. garden. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And the victim's family tells us that Shanna Lee Chambers, the only survivor of the alleged attack, is still in the hospital, but she is doing well. Meantime, Chambers is in jail this morning. He's due in bond court sometime later today. We're live in Miami Gardens, Riel Creighton, CBS4 This Morning.